Good morning, beginnings children. It's good to see you again. Right, so last week in our story, we learned about the poor woman and how she went to the temple. And when she went there, she gave all the money that she had to God and to the church, which was good. And Jesus saw her and said, this was the good thing to do. So this week, we're going to learn about the, one of the next things that happened to Jesus. Because Jesus knew that he had to die for all the sins of all the people. It was part of God's plan because all of us have done bad things and wrong things and that's called sin. And Jesus was the only person who could die for them so that we could be friends with God. Because he had done no wrong soon it was time and Jesus died on the cross for our sins so here is the cross and Jesus had to die on the cross for our sins so after he died they took his body and then they wrapped it in bandages and then they put it in a special grave which is called a tomb so they put him inside a tomb. Like that. And they put a big, heavy stone in front of it so nobody could steal the body of Jesus. The people who loved Jesus were so sad but they had forgotten something very special that Jesus had told them before he died. He told them that he would see them again soon. Wow. So. Mary Magdalene was walking with some friends to the grave. So she's here with her friend and they were walking to the grave, to the special tomb, and they were very sad and upset. And they got to the tomb, and then they found that the tomb was empty. But instead, there was an angel, and the angel told them do not be afraid. Jesus is not here. He is alive. <gasps> wow. Jesus is alive. He's not dead anymore. Later, the women, they saw Jesus. <gasps> here, he is. They worshipped Jesus and he said to them, go and tell my helpers, I will see them soon. And they ran to tell them. They ran all the way to find his friends and they told them that Jesus is alive. Hooray! Yay! Jesus is alive. So we're going to sing a song about Jesus dying and rising again from the dead. It goes. Jesus died on the cross, on the cross, on the cross. Jesus died on the cross to take away our sin. Jesus died and rose again, rose again. Rose again, Jesus died and rose again, so we can live with him. Lovely. So shall we say our prayer to say thank you? We put our arms out, just like Jesus did when he was on the cross. God helps us care and love and share. 
God is with us everywhere. Thank you, God. And let's just say another prayer to thank God. Thank you, God, for sending Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. And thank you that he didn't stay dead, but he rose again and Jesus is alive. Thank you that you loved us and did that for us. Amen. Right, shall we see if we can sing as some songs to praise God? Have you found a drum and a shaker and a tambourine so we can sing our special songs together? Right, are we ready then? Listen to the drums go bang, bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. Listen to the drums go bang, bang, bang. Praising God. Can you go and find a shaker? Let's get ready to shake. Listen to the shakers go shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Listen to the shakers go shake, shake, shake. Praising God. Ooh, something to shake and tambourine to ting. Listen to the bells go ting, ting, ting. Ting, ting, ting. Ting, ting, ting. Listen to the bells go ting, ting, ting. Praising God. Should we try and make lots of noise? Listen to us all make lots of noise. Lots of noise. Lots of noise. Listen to us all make lots of noise. Praising God. Lovely. So, do you want to choose your instrument and we're going to play another one to praise God? Play your instruments, play your instruments, praise, praise, praise the Lord. Play your instruments, play your instruments, praise, praise, praise the Lord. Play them high. Children, see you next week. Bye bye.